Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. So today we proceed with chapter 7 matrices 7.4 system of linear equation with three variables. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to solve the unique solution system of AX is equal to B by using inverse matrix. How do we solve a system of linear equation using matrices? How do we solve for the value of x, y, and z here? We can use matrices to solve them. To solve them using matrices, we need to write them in matrix form. So first, we find the matrix of the coefficient. The first equation, the coefficient is One, one, and one. The second equation, the coefficient is three, two, and negative two. The third equation, the coefficient is two, negative three, and negative four. This is the matrix coefficient of three variables. We need to multiply with matrix of variables. The variables are x, y, and z. The product is the matrix with the column of the constant on the right hand side. So that will be 2, 8 and 0. This is the matrix form of the above system equations. This can be written as AX is equal to B. Okay, so we go to the step 2. So we need to find the inverse of matrix A. So we can find the inverse of matrix A by using adjoint matrix. So based on the formula that we have learned before, in order to find inverse, we need to find determinant and adjoint A. So first we find determinant of A. So I assume you know you already know how to find the determinant of A. If we calculate the determinant of A, you will get the determinant of A is equal to negative 19. Okay, next we need to find the adjoint A. So remember on how to find the adjoint A. Find the cofactor and then transpose it. So first we need to find the cofactor. So you can pause this video and try to find the cofactor matrix of matrix A. Okay, so you got your cofactor matrix is negative 14, 8, negative 13, 1, negative 6, 5, negative 4, 5, and negative 1. And then in order to find the adjoint, we need to we need to transpose it. So the row will become a column and column will become a row. Okay, so you have negative 14, 8, negative 13 as your column. And then we have 1, negative 6, 5 as your second column. 
and the third column is negative 4, 5 and negative 1. Therefore, we can find the A inverse is equal to 1 over determinant which is negative 19 and then multiply with a joint A. So, don't multiply the 1 over 19 yet. Okay, so we go to the step 3. So, we want to find the value of x. So, we need to multiply A inverse with Ax is equal to B. So, we know that A inverse multiply with A will give you I. And then, I multiply with X will get X is equal to A inverse multiply with B. So, we know that in order to find the X, we need to multiply A inverse with B. So, that's why we need to find the inverse first. Okay, so we know that our A inverse is 1 over negative 19. And then we have uh, the matrix. And then just multiply it with B. So B you can refer at the original matrix form that we did on the beginning of the question. So um, after that, we multiply uh, A inverse with B. Okay, so remember on how to multiply uh, the two matrices. Okay, now um, we left with 1 over negative 19 multiplied with negative 27, negative 32 and 14. So we know that x uh, is equal to x, y and z. So we don't forget to multiply 1 over negative 19 into the matrix. Therefore, your x is equal to 27 over 19 y is equal to 32 over 19 and z is equal to negative 14 over 19. So that's how you find or you want to solve the system of linear equation.